In 2005, Microsoft released its second video games console, the Xbox 360. The console was a major financial success for the company. Over the life of the product, it generated over $20 billion in hardware sales and many times more in software sales. The release of the Xbox 360 cemented Microsoft's position as one of the big three players in the console video games industry alongside Nintendo and Sony. Despite its success, the release of the Xbox 360 was not without major problems. Xbox 360s broke a lot. The console frequently suffered from crashes and hardware failures due to overheating. When the console overheated, its power light would flash red to indicate a failure. Gamers referred to this as getting the red ring of death. A typical failure rate in the consumer electronics industry is 3 to 5%. Although Microsoft has never released official numbers, analysts estimate that early Xbox 360s failed anywhere between 23 and 54% of the time. As a gamer, I know about this problem firsthand, twice. So why are we talking about this in our accounting class? Well, here's why. Xbox 360s and almost all major consumer electronics are sold under warranty, meaning if an Xbox or a PlayStation, or Nintendo, or Apple iPhone, or Samsung phone breaks within the first year of use, the company will repair or replace it free of charge. This promise, this warranty, represents a major liability. But the problem is, the company can never know precisely how much it will owe. So, they need to estimate, or estimate the liability. The fact that some liabilities are known and some must be estimated represents a major accounting challenge. This module is all about liabilities. We'll learn a lot about known liabilities like loans and bonds and we'll also learn about estimated liabilities like warranties. This is an interesting and a challenging module and I can't wait to get started.